solicitor, is it your contention that under this scheme, the ruling party does not know who its donors are? No, no. Idealistic way. Practically, the party... Even that is not idealistic. Because the assumption is that the Almighty knows who has put money in the one booth. I bow down. I bow down. I, I bow down and we go back to one of the earlier policy. No, that's, that's the only that's, answer. No, no, it's not like that. That's why we say, we are not, we are not for a moment saying that, look, there are three or four considerations which are very important. One point. I, I, I'll, I'll just How it is to be done is for you to decide. I, I just, we will not go step into that arena. That's no part of our function. I, I just agree. That is one of the objectives. We have removed 230,000 2, shell companies you know, from the system. So what will you do then? You will bring about an uh, amendment to the companies that government let, will... Let... That bona fides of the government are writ large and from one or two suggestions which I will make, your lordship's conscience would be satisfied that scheme is forget designed to ensure that the ruling party knows it's not even the intention. We, the ruling party doesn't want that. That's the stand of the government. Whoever is the ruling party, ruling party should not know about any of the details which others are not knowing. Who donated, to whom, what amount, the ruling party should not know. And I will not point that out. And if necessary, I have some uh, suggestion, which may perhaps subject to your lordship being satisfied, take care of your lordship's concerns. Mr. Solicitor, is it your contention that under this scheme, the ruling party does not know who its donors are? No, no. Uh, the, the party know every party knows who their respective donors are. Yes. Yeah, look, the confidentiality is from other party. I am sorry, my Lord, I am unable to convey the heart of the matter. Lord, if I donate to Congress, the Congress knows Tushar Mehta has donated. Right. But you don't, my worry you is don't want other, another party to know. BJP should not know so that I don't get victimized. That's the that's the purpose of confidentiality. Well, technically, I, well, technically, I can say, well, Mr. Bhushan has given this example, that even ruling party can, uh, any party, well, why ruling party, any party can feign ignorance. That somebody came and uh, in my Dropbox, Dropbox not in the digital sense, uh, in, uh, in the ballot box, in the uh, postal box, there was an envelope. An envelope contained 100 crores. Nobody donates like this. We donate, we give money like this only in pilgrimages. We don't, but people would not donate my Lord, anonymously. In, in uh, Srinathji, my Lord, people would donate 100 crores without any name. It would be an anonymous donation because that is, uh, thiru, yes, thiru, that, that's what I'm saying. But that is, my Lord, again, idealistic way. Practically, the part even that is not idealistic because the assumption is that the Almighty knows who has put money in the one booth. I bow down, I bow down. I bow down, my Lord. There is no confidentiality. There is no confidential, my Lord, every, even, even the person, the person also knows why he is donating. That is a reflection of the fact that there is a line in Ganges for, my Lord, the, because they know that what Pap ki and Dona Chana padega. So people also know that. But, my Lord, uh, the party who receives knows who has given. That you can never, my Lord, uh, come out of. There cannot be any system where the donor and donee, each other would not know. But then, uh, so Tushar Mehta, if this is so, why not make everything open? But, my Lord, then the, the purpose is defeated. As I'm not... As, I, 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 as, I, as it is, everybody knows about, or partly knows about it, partly they know about it. Only person who is being deprived is the voter. Your, your contention that the voters do not have the right to know after the number of decisions of this court is slightly difficult. No, to my lord, the voter, my lord. Because they, they wouldn't know that uh, they should know. Lord, then then I, I bow down and we go back to my lord, the earlier policy. No, that's the only answer. No, no, it's not like that. That's why we say we are, not, we are not for a moment saying that, look, there are three or four considerations which are very important. One, the need to reduce the the, the cash element Correct. in the electoral process. Very it has reduced. Right? Second, 
the need to encourage the use of authorized banking channels for that purpose. Correct. This is the only way you can reduce the cash. Correct. Well. That's the second consideration. Third, there is a countervailing consideration. Uh, sorry, third is incentivizing the use of the banking channels. Which is confidentiality according right. to us. And therefore, according to incentivizing the use of the authorized banking channels should therefore result in greater confidentiality. But there is a fourth consideration, which is a need for transparency. And a fifth consideration, which is that this should not become a legitimization of kickbacks yeah, and quid pro quo between the, the power centers, whether in the states or in the center, and people who are really in that sense, they are they are benefactors of that power. They are they are they are supplicants. I, I, want, I, I, they I want, bow down. Uh, yes. I bow down. So no. all these. So when when the balance is drawn between these, of course, the balance has to be drawn by the uh, by the legislature and by the executive, not by us. We are quite conscious of that. But it's not therefore that you have an either or. Either you have this or you go back to an entire cash system. You can design another system, which does not have the flaws of this system, which really they, they put a premium on the they put put a premium on opacity. You can still devise a system which balances out in a proportional way. That's the point. I, I, I'll, I'll just how it is to be done is for you to decide. I, I just we will not go step into that arena. That's no part of our function. I'll, I'll just respond to uh, after showing the scheme. But let me respond to the last point first, which is bothering your lot. That this might be used as legitimized kickback. Well, first of all, whenever your lordships are considering a a piece of you know, subordinate legislature like a scheme, because you know, in now these five considerations which I have listed out, you must now read in the perspective of how it has been implemented. First, there was a cap that your donation must be related to a percentage of net profits. A percentage of net profits meant that the company must be in a position to have net profits. And that you would donate 5% initially, then it became 7.5% under the 2013 Act. <clears throat> now, what have we done? Now we say that, well, it has nothing to do with whether you have net profits or not. In other words, the company may have zero profits, it may have zero turnover, but it gets a donation only for the it gets a certain mm -hmm. income or revenue only for the purpose of the donation. That that means I'll with the, immediately say that I'll, passes must. I'll immediately say, and your lordships may Let's clarify that if that is the Lord, any concern, it's the right concern that so far as the condition with regard to the profit making company, that percentage of a net profit, Lord, a non not, pre, not pre, profit making company cannot do. But I, I understand because then it would be used as a shell company. That is one of the objectives. We have removed 2,000, 2 lakhs, 30,000 shell companies Lord, from the system. So what will you do then? You will bring about an uh, amendment to the companies that government let, will let, no, let, let me take your lordships through this. So you will move an amendment to uh, amend the Companies Act to the effect that... Uh, amending, my lord, uh, is a legislative function. I, I cannot make that... But you have to move the amendment. If you, y yes, you, lord, or your lordships may, my lord, read it accordingly. No, is the government making a statement that we will amend the Companies Act to bring back the position what it was, namely... No that this will be only a percentage of the net profit. No, 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 I'm not saying percentage. I'm saying profit-making company can only donate. But tell us 